And there we just walked a little bit further along past the lighthouse station. And there's picnic benches up there. And over there you've got a ball and green. And you've got children's playground here. And then you've got steps up to that hotel. And down here is the best part. It's that lovely wee archway. We shall go further down. There's a wee little plaque up there. David's going to have a look and see what it says. But this must have been a bridge at some point because there's a nice little archway there. Lots of folks' footprints in here. It's all wet down here, so the sea must have been a bit coming over. Hopefully I won't get wet. I love little archways and things at the sea. I think I'll just uh, try and get over the other side where David is and have a look over there. Here's a closer look at that archway. I'd love to know what that was. I'm going to have to do a bit of research, I think. I'm just along here. I'm just on the other side where I was before. I'm not sure what this is either. If anybody knows, comment down below when I post the video. Also, if anybody knows what the archway, whether it used to be a bridge. If anybody can let us know, that would be great. This is Port Patrick Bowling Green. Statue of a bowler over there. And we've got a pitch and put further on, which I'll show you. And this is a footing green where you just help yourself. Yeah, you put the money in. Cost three pounds. You put the money in. The... See if David wants to go at it. I'm glad he's good. All oh, right, we <laughs> haven't got three pound on us. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we haven't got three pound, but that's the putting green. We'll have to do it the next time we come. I've got £3. Oh, he has. He's going to have a shot. Yeah, yeah, he's going to have a shot. He's found three pound. Here we go then, first hole. David used to be quite a keen golfer, he grew up in Troon. And he used to be quite a high handicap. What was your handicap, David, when you were playing? Nine. And then obviously arthritis kicked in. And that was the end of his golf, so now that he's got two new knees and two new hips, he's having a go at the putting. Hey, it's just like being on holiday. <laughs> A 
they're very trustworthy here. You get your clubs and your ball outside the hut and you put the money in the slot. Of course it does say it opens at two o'clock, so it's only quarter past one. But hey ho, we put the money in the slot. Hey! <laughs> He's still got the knack. You've still got the knack. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Not sure where that went. Oh, down the hill, I think. Oh, I can just see the ball landing there. David is in his glory. Eh? Hey. Just missed that one. Four threes in a row. Four Go switch off now because there's a few holes left to go. So we're on hole 14 already. I had a shot before and I nearly got a hole in one, but not quite. It bounced off the hole. And then you go over the little bridge here to the rest of the holes. It's an 18 hole course. And, eh? oh, 50, oh, we've got 50, oh, 15. You go under the you have to shoot the ball under the tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a bit like a crazy golf course now. <laughs> yeah, a bit of crazy golf. Oh, hole in one! I want to have a shot of that hole. <laughs> I'm going to have a shot. Give it to it to retrieve the ball. And then it'll be my turn. Watch, I'll get it miles past the hole or something. This is a canny little course. It's three pounds for 18 holes. It's handy where there's nobody here as well. Right, I'll just put you on pause a minute. Okay, here's Angela shot it. Here we go. Yeah, straight in there and all. <laughs> well done. There you go. Hold on one. 